Chidzin is one of Limpopo's biodiversity hotspots. The picturesque village boasts some of the most beautiful topography and high annual rainfalls. If what residents are seeing is anything to go by, the village may be set for a major economic lifeline. The discovery of the peculiar rocks prompted community leaders to seek expert knowledge. They are inviting geologists into their village to conduct research to ascertain the authenticity of the rocks. I saw it when I was working in my yard. I came across strange rocks that looked out of place. I'd never seen anything like that in my life. That's when I called others to come and see. We then realized that the rocks are all over. Community leaders say while they await thorough assessment of the rocks, they are hoping for the best. We are not sure right now because we are just laymen, but if it is proven that indeed there are minerals, it will bring economic prosperity into our village. The University of Venda says its Earth Sciences Department is open to help the village with the tests. There are some yellowish uh, 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 minerals appearing on those basalts and uh, uh, it looks like some sulphide mineralization. And uh, uh, mostly when we talk about sulphide mineralization, we are talking about minerals like uh, parite, which normally people call it uh, or will normally call it false gold. Uh, uh, so for for us to confirm exactly what is uh, uh, within those rocks, we really need to go to the to the to the site and we see the, the the samples themselves, and then we can confirm what is really within those type of rocks. And then uh, uh, to advise the community what they need to do to, uh, to take a step further, I think they need to consult uh, uh, the Department of uh, 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 Mining and Environmental Geology at the University of Venda. Then we can come and assist them. The testing of sulphides is a long and complex process that includes the drilling of over 200 holes. Ruta Ndobobori, SBC News, in Chizini.